Okay, this is a RCA color video camera for home video use from 1980. It's a model CC007. Um, to start with, this camera has a lens that's quite nice actually for home video. It's uh, at least part of it feels like it might be metal, aluminum, and it says TV zoom lens 12.5 to 75 millimeter, 1 to 1.4. And this is the focus portion of the lens. And then there's another ring back here that is the zoom. And when you go all the way over, you have to do this part by hand. Uh, you have the macro, so you can do some extreme close-ups uh, work with it as well. It's a motorized zoom. The uh, cable for the motor plugs in from the lens assembly into the camera there. Uh, actually, the whole uh, thing unscrews from the camera body like that. I'm not going to take it off. I don't want to get dust in the lens and all that. I don't really think that most people would have multiple lenses for a camera like this. Um, has some interesting features. The, the viewfinder is here. It's a black and white viewfinder. And you can um, flip it. You can make it left or right handed orientation. You can flip it over and then there's a switch here that changes the uh, monitor inside, changes this the sweep polarity so that uh, even if you flip it over the orientation is right. Uh, on the side here you've got uh, BLC which uh, I believe was, is more like gain and maybe they meant black level control. I don't have a uh, manual for this camera but that's how it, how it uh, acts. Um, you have an indoor and outdoor setting, which again is kind of a, a rough gain setting. It uh, will have higher gain on the indoor set, uh, setting. And then your white balance control, which is uh, either settable from here, I suppose. I don't believe it has auto. And actually, I'm not 100% clear on how. I know you use a white piece of paper and aim it and adjust, but... Uh, <laughs> As you'll see, the color pickup on this camera is not so great anyway. It, um, it's pretty nicely built, you know, for a consumer-grade unit. This uh, is the handle, and it's adjustable here with this uh, knob. You can loosen it up and reorient it however you like. On the end here, it's got uh, the automatic zoom or the uh, mechanical uh, motorized zoom. Uh, this button here would do the uh, pause on the VTR. You would uh, carry a, a VHS VTR with this uh, machine over the shoulder kind of thing. So it was a two-piece system. This was before camcorders. I don't want to send this light down the lens. I don't know. I doubt it would hurt the tube inside. But this has a pickup tube instead of a CCD. And I don't want to mess it up any more than it already is. Um, this is a fade to black button, so it'll take your video down to black. It has a microphone built in that, for some reason, is on a little radio-style antenna, so you can extend it out. Uh, there's the mic. The windscreen, amazingly, it's made of foam, has not deteriorated. Uh, looking at the bottom here. You can see, uh, I believe that's tripod mount there. Uh, got some cautions about don't open it, no user serviceable parts inside. It's addressed to RCA Sherman Drive in Indianapolis. This is Japanese made, draws uh, about almost uh, 590 milliamp. Made in Japan. Looking at the top, there's a hot shoe on the top, and I will get the cover off and show inside where the uh, electronics are. Also, looking from the back here, you've got an external mic connection, a power LED, and then a standby or power on 
so you can uh, be all ready to shoot and stand by and I guess you throw the on switch and that sends the power to the camera and perhaps wakes up the VCR that you would carry with you. Um, it's got a cable that's about eight feet long here and it has a, I believe that's a nine pin, ten pin. That was a standard connector, uh, I think across like JVC and uh, Sony, maybe other brands at the time that would connect to the VTR. And then uh, I've got the covers off, but uh, I've got to take some screws out before I can really see inside. There's a PC board on each side. You can see a pretty sizable aluminum casting where the uh, pickup tube is. Okay, we got the screws off the PC board, so you can look down inside here. There's quite a bit of electronics inside, um, quite a few integrated circuits. There's a board there along the top inside, and you can see all those dip packages. Board on the other side, of course. And I don't have any schematics or anything, so I don't know what's what, but uh, there's the pickup tube and some kind of adjustment that's been fixed with the uh, like maybe a thread lock, some, something there to keep it from turning. It's one tube. Not sure what kind of technology is. I thought I read somewhere it was a SATACON, but I'm not sure. And uh, in this board, a whole bunch of uh, capacitors. Um, this box here, there's a white cable that looks like I don't know it might be uh oh that might be just the audio this white cable going up to the mic here look like it might have been something high voltage but maybe not shielded so an AN5055 down here there's some other larger chips like that black thing there and I'll go ahead and get it put back together and uh, you can see what the video looks like.